Hello, I'm Jeanette from Shabby Shock and I'm the workshop leader with Rig Arts Projects Recycle Upcycle Project and today we are going to do um, an upcycle on an old picture frame that was picked up at a car boot sale for £3 and this is what we need for the project. So items needed for this project are an old frame to prepare the frame, we need to use sugar soap, which we can apply with a, a washing up sponge. We need some sandpaper to prime the frame. We need paint in your chosen colour, and I've chosen two colours. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the purple on first, and then we're going to put the, the blue on in top of the purple, but have some of the purple show through. And I'll show you the method of doing that. For the picture itself, we're using mesh patterned paper. So what we'll do is we'll cut and mosaic the mesh paper, frame it and then embellish it using some silver and gold paint pens. And then once that's done, the paintwork will be dry so we can finally give it a sand just so that the, the first colour we put on shows through the second colour and again it's, it's a matter of preference as to what brush you use but I find these round brushes give the best um, effect especially when it comes to mixing colours together. So the first thing we need to do is to prepare the frame. This, this frame is actually in um, really good condition so all we're doing is we're going to give it a wipe down with some sugar soap which removes any grease, any any dirt, any grime and just on a washing up sponge slightly scrub it so once you've applied your sugar soap what you're doing is just wiping the sugar soap off with a damp cloth and the next stage is just to give it a very very light sand okay. a sanding, a square sanding block is ideal for a, a frame this shape so all you're doing is just very lightly sanding it and all this is doing is giving the, the wood just that wee bit of key so that when you come to paint it, the paint adheres. And then all you need to do is give it one final wipe just to get rid of any dust that's been left by the sanding. So the two colours um, that are getting used today are actually um, colour man paints and they're really really good paints. They have really strong colour, lots of pigment in it and they're really really nice to work with. So what I'm doing is just going to put some of the first colour onto the plate. and then apply it to the frame. Not in any neat, precise way, just very, very quickly with lots of brush strokes. So now the, the first coat is dry, what we're going to do now is we're going to apply some Vaseline to the first coat. We're going to put the Vaseline on where we want the purple to show through the blue. So what happens is where you put the Vaseline, when you come to put your top coat on, which in this case is the blue, the Vaseline repels it so the base coat shows through. And when you're applying your Vaseline, you're not looking to do it in a, a neat, uniform way. 
just very roughly take it round the outer edges of the frame and some places have it thicker than others and you can see why you're applying it because it goes shiny Okay, so now we have the the first coat complete, coated in Vaseline where we want the, the first coat, the purple, to show through the blue. So all we need to do now is just apply the blue and again applying it very quickly and not too neatly. Like a lot of emulsion paints, it will look much darker when you're applying it, but it will dry two or three shades lighter than it appears when it's wet. So now the, the second coat, the top coat is dry and as you can see it's it's been applied in quite a rough imperfect manner which is going to be in keeping with the, the design of the mesh paper. So what we'll do now is using a very 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 fine sandpaper is very gently buff off the top paint to show the purple paint underneath where we applied the Vaseline. When you do this there will be a build up of um, paint and Vaseline on your sandpaper, so just wipe it off. So that's the frame, so that's it ready for the, the mesh to be put inside the frame. What we're doing now is we're going to start to lay out where we want our mesh to be when I say mesh, what I mean is it's it's mesh paper and this particular selection came from Poundland in Greenock and gorgeous papers, lovely vibrant colours and some have glitter on them, some have embellishments. So for this particular project, the, the dominant colour in this project is, is going to be the, the orange and the black mesh paper. So what you're doing here is very, very roughly laying out your mesh until you get to a, a stage where you're happy with your pattern. What I've decided for this project is this paper here will be the, the centre, the focal point of the, the collage. What you're looking to do with your colours is you're looking for balance and by that what I mean is for example if we put all the orange and black together in this corner when you look at that picture what you'll see is that corner so what you want to do is just move it around until you get balance until you, you look at it and you're happy that your eyes not been drawn to any one particular piece of the picture that you're seeing it as a whole. So just lay out your, your, your mesh and once you've, you've laid it out and you're happy with all your positioning then what you'll do is you'll start to cut and glue the mesh. So the mesh has been glued to the paper and it's just been glued down using a, a simple Tesco glue stick. So what I'm going to do now is just to add a wee bit of um, detail to the, the picture is using a paint pen I'm going to splatter some silver ink across the paper. So with these pens what you need to do is prime them. Then once the paint starts to flow freely, just splatter it. And 
and you're looking to do this in quite a controlled way so if you have some here aim for the middle and then once you have some in the middle aim for the top and obviously if you're doing this at home have lots of protection because it goes everywhere So this is the completed project, um, we have the surround with the two colours showing through, the purple underneath the blue, we've glued the mesh down and as you can see once it's framed what really makes the difference is the mount. So from a £3 frame to this. 